Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 15, and today, we got some positional set. Today, we got a 99 overall Harrison and a 99 overall Josh Sitton via positional hero sets. Now, guys, these are big sets, but you gotta put in Elite, you gotta put in Team of the Weeks, you gotta put in Football Outsiders. That's why it's always wise to try and hang on to those Team of the Week and Football Outsider pools, even though they might not be going for a lot at the moment, because now, later on in the year, guess what? Those prices are gonna jump up, because guess what? They're not in packs. Also, these sets contain two Elite badges. More and more now, we're seeing more sets require more elite badges so the prices for them should be jumping relatively soon especially when they update the flashback and throwback pack here we go though, quickly 99 overall josh sitting check his stats out 6 3 98 strength 88 excel 99 pass block 96 run block and 97 impact blocking as well as 72 speed which is pretty good because his cards are usually pretty slow sitting played in over 1100 plays this past season allowing zero sacks and only nine total pressures next up we got harrison smith this card looks sick man 99 overall free safety 6 2 great height 94 speed 80 man 98 zone 90 pursuit 94 hit power 87 tackle and 95 play rep smith finished with over 90 tackles and five interceptions by only allowing one td in zone all season now guys this harrison smith looks pretty nice i've been loving me some atwater lately but this card one inch shorter great speed play rep tackle man coverage zone coverage the only thing he's really lacking in is hit power which isn't even that low at a 94 but guys, also this past Sunday, they dropped some all-rookie team players in. These cards are beautiful. There's some glorious budget cards, but 90 overalls going for 12k and 10k. Great, great budget cards. One card that really caught my eye out of this batch is the Anthony Barr, 92 overall. His team of the week was freaking beastly. I'm sure this one's nice too. 6 4, 92 speed, 92 tackle, 87 play rick, 85 block shit, and 95 pursuit. Barr! Finished with 70 tackles, 4 sacks, and 3 forced fumbles while only allowing 1 TD in coverage. So once again, great coverage linebacker. I think his hands are pretty solid too. Okay, not that great. 71 catch rating, but above average nonetheless. But guys, quickly, we must pull a bundle, man. Quickly, Lombardi pack bundle. I was going to pull the bundle. I was going to do it. I really wanted to pull that 24-hour Michael Vick, but I tried to buy some codes from Target. They were slacking. They were lacking. And eventually, they just canceled my order. So in the future, if you're buying PSN off the internet, don't go to Target because they were pretty, pretty terrible for me. Here we go, though. A light seven-pack bundle. I pulled more, but guess what? This season's wrapping up. We got an off-season up next. I'm saving my coins. I've already sold a few players to boost my coin amount. So yeah, this off-season should be great. Should be getting some pretty nice pickups. Not trying to blow too much. Unpacks got a Frank Gore, a Michael Vick piece or collectible that would be too clutch, and you know just stuff, stuff, stuff we can use, stuff we can sell, maybe even one of those new rookies. That would be pretty clutch. Got a Roberto Garza right there. Also, guys, with those hero sets out, no need to discard. Road to the playoff goals you can't use. Just hold on and save him for the sets. Paul Puss Leslie, I'm gonna save him, kick him back into the binder, and you know collect him when the MLB set drops. I also wonder who's going to be the middle linebacker player. Is it gonna be Pete Willie? Is it gonna be Luke Keekley? I wonder for wide receiver, is it going to be another Antonio Brown or ODB? They've gotten so many cards this year. Ooh, 10K coins. Okay, I'll take that 10K I didn't have. But yeah, ODB, Antonio Brown. I wonder who's getting the wide receiver set. I think the past few years, they've done like maybe one or two wide receivers. I think last year was only Antonio Brown. Though, so I don't know. It could be different this year, but I wonder who the wide receiver will be. Honestly, I'm kind of pulling for Julio Jones. He hasn't gotten a new card in the longest. That would be pretty dope. It's already a ton of Antonio Browns, a ton of ODBs. A fresh face would be lovely. Even Des Bryant has a ton of cards. So a new Julio, that'd be pretty sick. At running back, pretty sure it's going to be Le'Veon Bell. He won the FedEx Ground Player of the Year Award. Didn't get his NFL honors card for that. So I'm pretty sure running back collection, going to be Le'Veon Bell. Pretty, pretty sure about that. At cornerback, to me, another Richard Sherman would make sense since there's already a 99 overall Sherman in the game. So maybe... Maybe a Brent Grimes. I don't know. I'm just throwing names out. I know the Broncos have a great corner. I can't remember his name right now, but I don't know. Could be a lot, a lot of different players. A lot of potential for these positional hero cards. Quickly, don't tell nobody. About to get another seven-pack puzzle, man. Why not? First bundle wasn't too bad. Got some goals. Got the 10K quick sell. Not too shabby. Vikings home. Sterling Moore. Garrett Selleck. Also, ooh, offensive line. Offensive line positionals. I'm expecting some cowboy love, man. Tyron Smith. Hasn't had a new card in the longest, had a great season. I don't think he missed a single game. He was great protecting Ramon's blind side. That'd be a great reward for the left tackle position on Hero Set. At tight end, I think Martellus Bennett might get it. He had a crazy year receiving, was very effective when it comes to receiving and catching balls. And, you know, just get down the field. He had a great career year, one of his best years, probably his best year yet. I'm throwing out some good names, but I'm sure I'm missing some players. Two in the comments, let me know 
who you guys would like to see in these positional hero sets or tweet me on Twitter, either or works for me. For that strong safety card, that would be nasty. A 99 overall can would be, would be filthy. I know last year, I think Brian Dawkins was like the strong safety position reward. That was crazy, but I don't think, I don't think we're getting the Dawkins this year. I think it's too late for them to introduce any new legends, right? I don't know, could be wrong. Overall, the positional players should be fun, man. Hopefully we get some more Cowboys love. Here we go to final, final pro pack. What did we get? So we got a Charles Clay. I think I got some badge packs waiting too. Locked and loaded and ready to go. Can I get an elite badge? Two gold badges, okay. Go upgrades. Don't sleep on those gold upgrade sets, man. Ten gold badges, one elite badge. If you can snipe those gold badges, very, very nice set. But there you have it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Quickly, Super Bowl gameplay should be out later today, if I'm lucky, or tomorrow for sure. And I know you guys see the coins. This offseason, a little crazy, a little while. We had to part ways with some big ticket players, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.